Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard trigonometric equation. Now, why do I call this non-standard? Because even though we have the trigonometric functions on the left, on the right-hand side, we do have a polynomial, which is a linear function, which is x. Even though it's fairly simple, we kind of have a non-standard situation. But we're going to make this equation much nicer. All right? Now, first of all, notice that the left-hand side kind of looks nice. And do you know why? Because I can make a common denominator and simplify it. Let's go ahead and do it. So in other words, as a general rule, I can safely say that whenever you see sine A over sine B minus cosine A over cosine B, what you should do is to make a common denominator. Because you're going to get something nice. Let's find out. Okay, great. Now, when I multiply the first fraction by cosine x, I'm going to get sine 3x times cosine x. And then the second one by sine x, cosine 3x. And I could probably write the sine first. It's going to look better. I'll tell you why. Sine x multiplied by cosine 3x. And at the bottom, I have my common denominator, which is sine x, cosine x, and that is equal to x. A lot of x's, right? Now, look at the numerator, the top. Take a good look. If you haven't seen it, then check some of the trigonometric formulas, and especially the sum and difference formulas. The top is actually a formula for sine of the difference. So it's like this, sine a cosine b minus sine b cosine a. And this is sine a minus b. Make sure you know this formula. Okay, back and forth, left and right, top and bottom. Now, from there, my a's and b's are going to be 3x and x, so this is going to turn into sine 3x minus x. Great. Divided by sine x cosine x. As is, it doesn't look nice, I know, but we're going to make it much, much nicer. Ready? Now, notice that 3x minus x is equal to 2x, so I can just go ahead and write it as sine of 2x. But what about the bottom? If you don't know what it is, hold on, let's do one more step. Sine 2x divided by sine x cosine x equals x. Again, this looks like a very non-standard equation. But take a look. Sine of 2x, isn't that the double angle? Yes, it is. So I can do something about it. What is the formula? Well, sine 2x, and you should know this, very important, super duper important. It's 2 sine x cosine x. And, and is, isn't that awesome? Like everything cancels out except for the 2. And this equal to x. Now, this was a very non standard equation, but now it became a very standard equation because sine x cancels out, cosine x cancels out, and guess what we end up with? x equals 2. Are you serious? Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. But it's a tricky problem. It kind of makes you think, oh, this is complicated because it's non-standard, but at the end, it resolves nicely. Okay? So x equals 2. But one of the things you have to be careful about, because we canceled out the sine x and cosine x, they should not be zeros which means they're not going to be one of those special values like 0, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. Or any multiples of pi over 2, I should say, should not be a solution. But x equals 2. Come on. It's not a multiple of pi over 2 by any chance, right? So this equation, this solution, I mean, is valid, right? Make sense? <laughs> okay. Is there another way to do the problem? I don't know. Probably not, because this is so simple, I can't really think of anything else. But again, when you, anytime you see something like this, always make a common denominator. Something is going to come up. Make sure you know your formulas. Review these, double angle, sum, difference, product to sum, sum to product. Oh, man, there's a lot of formulas. So there was one joke. I think there was a um, paper that made that said something like, math is not hard. You just have to memorize 1,579 formulas. It's a joke. I don't know the exact number. I just made it up. But you get the idea. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And bye-bye.